Here's some examples from module one for the uh, fundamental counting principle. So this is section 11.1 in the book. Um, for the first example, a man has two pairs of pants and three shirts. In how many ways can he select one pair of pants and one shirt to wear? Solve this by using both the fundamental counting principle and by using a tree diagram. So I have to show the solution two different ways. And the first way is the fundamental counting principle. And a lot of times I will refer to these problems as blank problems because what I'm going to do is set up two blanks. I'm going to call this solution number one. I'll do blank, blank. And the first blank represents how many choices he has on the pair of pants. So underneath the first blank, I'm going to write pants. And underneath the second blank, that's the shirts. He has two pairs of pants, so put a two in the blank for pants. And then he has three shirts, so we'll put a three in the blank for shirts. And with the fundamental counting principle, we'll just multiply those two numbers together. Two times three is six. So there are six ways he can select one pair of pants and one shirt to wear. With the second technique, it says use a tree diagram. So I'll call this solution number two. And this solution is with the tree diagram. The tree diagram is just a, a picture of all the different ways he can make these selections. You could draw the picture. You could start at the left side and work your way toward the right side. Or you could start at the top and work your way down the page. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and start at the top as I think that might make the most sense given the amount of space I have on this page. So I, I put a little dot and that's, he's looking in his closet and he's going to make his selection on the pair of pants. He has two selections, so we'll go two branches and I'm going to say the first one is P number one, the second one is P number two. For pants number one and pants number two. So if you're coming along the first branch, he selected pants number one. If you're coming along the second branch, he selected pants number two. At this point, he selected his pants, and now he's going to select the shirt. If he selected pants number one, he could select shirt number one, or he could have selected shirt number two. I'll just use S1, S2, and S3 for the shirts. So here I would have pants number one with shirt number one, or pants number one with shirt number two, or pants number one with shirt number three. If he chose pants number two, then we're on this second branch from the top, and he's got pants number two, and he could have selected shirt number one. I'll use S1. He could have selected shirt number two, I'll use S2, and he could have selected shirt number three, so I'll use S3 for that. And if I count these branches at the bottom, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. There were six ways he could have made his selections. One of them is pants one with shirt one. He could have selected pants one with shirt two. He could have selected pants one with shirt three. Or he could have selected pants two with shirt one. Or pants two with shirt two. Or pants two with shirt three. 